Okay, granted, we're still missing quite a lot of stuff, but we could start to add things, like uh, the snowballs. The snowballs, the ball balls. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my simulation just here. And from here, I'm gonna add my ball balls. Where are they? Um, here. And what I'm gonna start doing is just placing these about the tree. You can put them wherever you like. But the more you put, the more work you're gonna have. So, if I move the animation, they'll stay still. I could just fix them to the tree, but I would really love if they could move. Um, have a little life in them. So, to do this, we're gonna reopen Newton. And if I hit play, that does nothing at all. What I would love is for the bubbles to be attached to the separate parts of my tree. So I'm already going to change the color of these objects representing the tree. For the bubbles, we can select them all with the button C. And we can change their color to orange. So now we can um, we can stick all the bubbles to our tree. So for all of these objects, they're going to be controlled by After Effects. So that means that we're going to have to make them as well uh, kinematic. And if we do that, we'll have to think about changing the animation keys and we'll add one at the end so it's uh, so it's out of the way. And then also on rotation if we've got them. So then after I've done that I can go back to Newton. Now that we've done that we can just double check that we're on kinematic and see what happens with the animation that we completed just before. And what we now need to do is attach all of our bubbles to the tree. So we're gonna grab this and this and then attach them. So we're just gonna do this for every single one that we've placed on our tree. All right, what does it give us? Well, I'm just gonna grab all of this and take off collision connection. If not, it'll just be a mess. What we can see is that the axis points are not in their right places at all. So now our job is to change these points. You just wanna drag these to wherever you see fit. So here the same thing, collision connection off. So it's the same thing here. This one here doesn't work like the ones just below it because it thinks that the object is trying to collide with objects in a different layer. So to fix this, we're just gonna select all the objects and I'm gonna change their collision groups and have them not collide with objects in a different group or the same groups that they're already in. By default on Newton, all objects are already in a group, group A. And I'm just gonna say that these objects here do not go into group A. And if I get rid of group A, it works. And now my bubbles move. Uh, too much. I think this is great, but 
it's a little too much, but maybe with a little bit of dampening, they should be a little less crazy. Maybe some more. That's so much better already. We'll export the file again. And back in After Effects, you can see we have a new file. We'll just change that name to Tree Plus Sphere Sim. We've now got all of those objects moving with a super simple method that looks great. We can now integrate this into the whole thing and see how it looks. And now that we have got that out of the way, let's pass on to the tinsel, this time using Connect Layers Pro.